Glioblastoma multiform GBM, is the most malignant of the neoplasms, with a primary astrocytic differentiation. Glioblastoma is also referred to as grade 4 astrocytoma. It is the most frequent primary brain tumor, accounting for 12 to 30 percent of all intracranial neoplasms, and 60 to 75 percent of the astrocytic tumors. Although, they may present at any age, including newborns. The peak incidence is between 45 and 75 years of age. There is a slight male predominance. At pathology, glioblastoma is often large and typically solitary and unilateral, although they may infiltrate and cross the corpus callosum. They most commonly arise within the deep white matter, but also may be seen in peripheral locations, and may even appear to be dural-based. The tumors are grayish, shows necrosis, and typically have evidence of hemorrhage. The tumor itself does not have distinct margins. However, areas of necrosis and intense vascular proliferation are often discrete, creating a deceptive appearance of demarcation. The imaging appearance of GBM is variable, as its name also reflects. The most commonly identified features include a mixture of hemorrhage and necrosis within the neoplasm. The typical imaging appearance is a supratentorial space occupying lesion, with proportionate mass effect and extensive surrounding vasogenic edema. Multifocality occurs in 4 to 6 percent of cases and may result from microscopic infiltration, rather than multicentric origin. On non-contrast CT, uncomplicated glioblastoma is a low attenuation lesion. Hemorrhage and necrosis can be seen, producing a grossly heterogeneous lesion. Cellular regions of tumor with new vascularity, showing tense enhancement on post-contrast images. On MRI, GBM is irregular and heterogeneous lesion, that is iso-intense or hypo-intense on T1 weighted images, and are heterogeneous, often hyper-intense masses on T2 weighted images. The margins of the solid portions of the lesion are typically thick, and cavitation from necrosis is frequent. Hemorrhage may be present and gradient imaging may reveal susceptibility, secondary to hemorrhage. On post-contrast imaging, irregular, thick enhancement is typically seen, that may be ring, solid, nodular, or patchy. MR spectroscopy demonstrates decreased NAA and occasional myoinositol. Choline level is increased, and lipid lactate peak may be present. The differential diagnosis on imaging includes tomb fact of demyelinating lesions and brain abscess. Perfusion weighted imaging may show vessels coursing through demyelinating lesion, which is not likely in a neoplasm 